Once again, we're in the place to be. Welcome back to In The Black. Like the video. Help me grow the channel. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. Let's look at the market. What's going on in the crypto market right now? Oh my goodness. Look, we are having a green day. So we're ready to go back to the moon? Not yet. Not yet. We're not there yet. It might be a minute. We're going to be going up and down in this little channel between 18,000, 21,000 or so. We'll probably be in this little channel for a little while. And that's fine because you know what? It's an opportunity for you to fill your bags. Yes, sir. Fill your bags during this time because when the bull market returns, everyone's going to flood back in in a panic because they're going to be FOMOing. But you, being the wise investor that you are, you will be sitting pretty because you'll have your bags filled already and you'll just be reaping the rewards over and over and over again as the market rises, as BTC rises, and as Ether rises, as BNB rises, and of course, Drip. As Drip rises, you'll be reaping the rewards. Speaking of drip, let's check out what's going on with the animal farm. Because people have been asking, and people ask all the time, how many plants do I need to make a dent? How many plants do I need to be successful? How many plants is good enough to have? And it's a very, very simple answer. As you can see, I got a bunch of plants here. I started with... Um, less than a thousand plants. I started with just a few hundred plants and now I'm up to whatever this number is here. It's growing every single day and it's growing every minute as, uh, as I do this video. It's growing as you can see. But for every single person who's in the drip garden and if you're not in the drip garden yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. Now is the time to start accumulating your plants, the more plants you have, the more seeds you can produce, the more seeds you can produce, the more LP that will be available to you as you go on and as your garden grows. So while prices are depressed right now, this is the time that you should be getting more plants. Now having said that, if you're interested in the, the drip garden, check out the link in the description below. But the simple answer to this question, how many plants did you have? Well, it totally depends on your situation. Here's what I mean. If we go to, we can go to a daily uh, compound calculator here, all right? Let's put in a number. Let's put in 100 plants. If you're just starting out, you're just a, a, a newbie. You're starting out at 3%, 3% per day. How many plants can you have in about three months? Well, we can see very, very simply that if we compound every single day for three months, we'll have about 1,500, about 1,500 plants. And that's pretty good. 3% a day, we'll have about 1,500 plants in our garden. So what you have right now is not necessarily what you're going to have three months from now or six months from now, all right? So what you're starting out with now may be small, may seem like a little, but it's going to grow very, very, very fast once you start taking advantage of the power of compound interest. That is where it's at, folks. This garden is really gonna take off. Your garden is really gonna take off if you really commit to compounding every single day. Now that's just once a day. These numbers are just for once a day. Compounding one, once a day will get you to about 1,500 plants if you're starting with only 100 plants. Now just in case you didn't know, the drip garden is a game. It's set up with a gameplay theory in mind. So basically the object of the game is to grow your garden bigger than anyone else's. So you really, you're competing against every other garden owner. That's what you're doing. And the key to victory, quote unquote victory, the key to growing a big garden is to get that 3% a day. Now, everyone doesn't get 3% a day. 
3% a day is only available to those individuals who compound more than the average user. And for sure, the average user is not compounding every day. That's just simple and plain fact. The average user is not compounding every day. Now, I'm not gonna say how many days a week you have to do it, but I would suggest you do it as often as you can, as often as what makes sense to you. And if you can do that, you're gonna access that 3% a day. So if you're doing it once a day, for sure, you're beating the average person. There's a lot of folk out there who are not compounding every day. There's a lot of folk who, who are only compounding once a week. There's a lot of folk who are just claiming constantly. I don't know why, but there are folk who are out there just claiming, 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 claiming. You're gonna be ahead of those guys. So, I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. I'm not sure why more people are not in the garden. And if you're in the garden, I don't know why you waste your time complaining about the price of plants and this, that, or the other. You're not complaining about the price of uh, Bitcoin or Ether or any other coin. You're complaining about the price of plants? Like, come on. If you're in the garden, hit that compound button like crazy. You're only spending a few cents per transaction, so I'm not sure what the problem is. It's not, you're not on, you're not on uh, Ethereum. You're not, you don't have to spend three, four, five, six dollars plus to do a transaction. I mean, these transactions on BNB are very, very cheap. So, trying to encourage you to hit that compound button. So how many plans do you need? Well, it depends really on what your goals are. Do you want to have a huge garden? Or do you just want to uh, have a medium-sized garden? Do you want to have a, a little garden that's nice and cute? Right? It also depends on what you're starting with. But whatever number you're starting with, whether it's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 1,000 or more, you're going to reap rewards exponentially greater than what you have right now, what you're able to reap right now. Because if you consistently compound, your numbers are going to explode in just a few months. So here's my challenge to you. Whatever number that you have, 100, 500, 1,000, whatever number of plants that you have, commit to compounding each day. Each day. And watch how fast those numbers grow. Let's look at what happens if you have 500 plants. If you have 500 plants at 3% a day for three months, you end up with about 7,500 plants after 90 days. Now that's crazy. 500 plants, that's it. 500 plants. Just hitting compound. All you're doing is hitting compound. Let's check it out on the new site. You're just hitting plant seeds, the compound button. That's it. That's all you have to do. Are you kidding me? My garden can grow from 500 plants to 7,500 in just a few months. And I'm doing nothing but spending a few cents per transaction a day. I'm not sure why more are not taking advantage of it, to be totally honest. Let's see if, uh, what about 1,000? All right, 1,000 will get you double that, 15 grand. All right, so you say, oh, well, Inda, we, we, we don't have that many plants. We're only starting off with about 200. Well, let's take a look. What would that look like? You'd have 3,000 plants at the end of three months, just starting with 200 plants to begin with. So this thought about, you know, you're at a disadvantage and, and whales have so much more than you, blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? You can be a, you can be a drip garden whale if you just put your head down and focus on compounding. Whatever you start with, you can get there to your goals. These numbers are going to explode. You see these numbers here? This is not what I started with. I started with this about two or 300 plants. It's just been months of compounding. This type of number is accessible to everybody. And I've taken profits. This is not, 
I, I haven't just compounded every single day without taking profits. So my point is you have the opportunity to make even more than this, to grow even faster than what I have. That's the point I'm trying to make. Let's say you have 300 plants. You're gonna end up with 4,500 plants at the end of that three months. So we can see for every 100 plants that you have, you're going to increase your garden by about 1,500 plants over three months if you just continue to compound regularly. That's awesome. So what you waiting on? Get out there and start compounding. Put more plants in your garden. I hope this has been helpful to you. If it has been, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. But like the video first. And as always, stay smart. Stay in the black. Thank you.